twas the night before greatest floor, and all through the land, the people were excited for the events that were planned. So to sleep they all went, got tucked into their beds, with visions of greatness floating through their heads. With riches to be won, and champions to be crowned, word of the amazing prize soon ran abound. The bank's vault was guarded by the sheriff with care. Well, maybe not. He's asleep in his chair. One troublemaker saw the chance to attack. So he robbed the vault, put all the valuables in a sack. As he scuttled away, a sound he did make, which startled the sheriff and caused him to wake. Hey, who are you? The sheriff did shout. And what's with that bag and you sneaking about? Uh, said the bandit, he thought with a pause. You don't recognize me? I'm Santa Claus. The man before him looked nothing like Saint Nick. Perhaps it was someone who was playing a trick. The sheriff stroked his beard and stood quite steadfast. Well, you don't look like him, and the holidays have passed. Oh, my friend, said the man, I can see it in your eyes. You really don't recognize me in this disguise. If the town folk saw Santa, they'd be up in a roar. As for my tardiness, well, that's a thing of folklore. The calendar's been changed, you've heard, I believe. DC made the decision that tonight's Christmas Eve. The sheriff did think, yeah, that sounds about right. Them politicians in the East are so erudite. Well, if you're the real Santa, I should test you. I should. Well, have I been naughty or have I been good? Oh, my good sheriff, the man did boast. You parallel none. Your kindness is utmost. The people of town adore you and your deeds, and whenever they ask, you fulfill all their needs. That does sound like me, the sheriff had thought. So what's in your bag for me? What have you brought? Did you get my letter? I told you exactly what I desire. And if my presence correct, I will call you a liar. Uh... Stumbled the man as he searched through his tote, pushing aside diamonds and gold and the occasional banknote. And there in the bag, as he stood on the bank's porch, he pulled out his present, the 2020 Greatest Florch. <laughs> It was just what he wanted. He gazed on with awe. And while the sheriff was distracted, ran away the outlaw. It was so beautiful, it really was so angelic. And so the town lost their riches, and instead gained a relic. <laughs>